We are a week into the new year. And of course, the Kardashians are dominating our headlines. This is the first family of like the world and like generations to come. Nothing else to do, we can stay on all day. So of course, the Kardashians released a new trailer for their new Hulu show, which we were all very excited about. They gave us glam, they gave us smiles, Cora was there. It was all the things we need from the Kardashian ladies. First of all, we have Chloe and Tristan. Unless you were living under a rock, I'm sure you have seen that Tristan has now confirmed that, that he fathered a child with another person whose name I don't need to mention. I think all of us knew that this was probably a fact and didn't want that to be a fact for those of us who love Chloe as much as we do, I being one of those people. And I have to say, I, on the record, I think Tristan is a bitch ass clown. And I know a lot of people, I've, the things that I've read online are like, oh, what does she expect? Or she's forgiven him. First of all, let's just make it clear. People make mistakes. People move on from mistakes. Relationships are able to rehab and move forward. Pandemic happened. He put all of his eggs into the Chloe basket. He did everything he possibly could to try to be in a relationship with her, be a father to true, be a family unit. Okay, we saw it nonstop. She really, at that point, had no reason to believe that he wanted any other reality because of how hard he tried to be with her. And here we are a year later, and turns out he had some extracurriculars going on during that time, which I'm sure she's pretty shocked about. I'm team Chloe all the way. I'm not into Tristan. Long story short, I'm not into Tristan. I'm not into him ever again. And my predictions on Chloe and Tristan, I know some people are even speculating whether or not that relationship is over. They are never, ever, ever, ever going to be romantically involved once again. And I don't even know if they're going to be friends. I think that he'll co-parent as best as he can. And that's really the end of it. For me, I don't, this is honestly, I'm just going to go on record. This is the last time I'm publicly going to speak about Tristan. To me, he, he no longer is in the in the ethos. He doesn't exist. I'm done with him. Let's talk about Kim and Pete. So first of all, everybody's obsessed with Kim and Pete, me being one of them. I'm all about Pete. First of all, on New Year's Eve, I watched Pete and Miley's little New Year's Eve special in Miami. I love Pete. He looks really good. He's been working out. I didn't notice, but my husband noticed. He's like, oh, Pete looks good. I was like, oh, I guess Pete does look good. I've always been a fan of Pete Davidson. I've always thought he was funny. I always thought he was quirky. He's slamming the hottest bitches for years and years and years and all sorts of different types, right? Like his roster hasn't been consistent and I love him for Kim. Everyone is like into them. They're in the behind for post New Year's, they're having a good time. He's light, he's funny, he's 28. She's post-divorce, she's got four children, she's allowed to have a good time, I'm all about them. And everyone gets so obsessed over these new couples that form and they're like, oh my God, what's gonna happen with blah, 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 and are they gonna go? No, they're not gonna go the distance, they're not gonna get married, and guess what, neither of them want that. They don't wanna have babies, they just wanna each other and have fun and drink cocktails and like make jokes and like that's it and that's what we all should have at one point and i think kim deserves that more than anything right now she's gone through a lot with kanye a lot first of all there was obviously kim and kanye were together for however long they split up there was that sort of like back and forth dance that we weren't sure what was going to happen then something changed and it was very clear that kim was just done with the situation and moving on and I have to say, I feel good about it. And I feel like Kanye, his ego was hurt. He never really thought she was gonna move on. He never thought she was gonna really be done with him. And I feel like she feels like I've put in all the work I possibly can. And I just wanna co-parent at this time. Buying real estate clothes, which I don't think is that weird. Some people think it's weird. I think he wants to be a good dad. He wants to be near them. That house he's not living in for years because it needs to be completely torn down and, re and rebuilt, which is a, a smart real estate investment. And now he's being seen with a different lady every night and he should do that too. I think it's a good situation for Kim and Kanye right now. Maybe she's gonna be loose and not give it the way I am in my New Year's resolutions. Let us know what you guys think in the comments below. And if you missed last week's episode, don't forget to check that out. And don't forget to subscribe for more Necessary Realness.